Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Well, last time we learned that the reason that Locke is so obsessed about helping all these women is because he lost one of his best friends, or maybe his girlfriend, I don't know, Rachel, uh, due to a horrific accident, and that's really unfortunate. But, uh, you know, we're going to move on from that. Uh, we also learned, uh, uh, we also explored the western part of the world map here, and, and came to Jador most western part of the world map, and we learned that Terra is north in Zozo. So let's go take a look, see if we can find her. All right, and we gained a level for lock there. Um, I guess I should also take this opportunity to wish a happy Boxing Day to all my friends in Canada. Uh, those of you that are watching uh, on uh, today, I posted it on December 26, 2014, which is a... All right, and after that fight, we got a new blitz technique with Sabin. And that's one of the reasons that I brought him along with me. And I'll go over that here. Well, I'll show you that right now. So the status, or er, sorry, uh, let's see. You know, that's not what I want. Uh, abilities, we we'll go to blitz. He learned Rising Phoenix, which engulfs all enemies in spiritual flame. And it's really good for this point in the game. So I'm very glad that that worked out. So we'll definitely, have, we'll definitely be putting that to use in the very near future. But if we come up here, this is the town of Zozo. Why is it raining here? And nowhere else. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's take a look around. All right, now we got a new enemy here, a Globlady Goo. All right, fair enough. Now they can throw wrenches at you, which is kind of dangerous. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work here with Saber. Basically, it's like throwing a sonic boom in, uh, no, not a sonic boom, uh, a red Hadouken, for those of you that have played. Ah, got it. Yeah, so he basically unleashes fire corpses, or fire replicas of, of himself at the enemies for some pretty good damage. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's gonna, it's, just a, it's great to have another multi-targeting attack in case Gao doesn't, in case Gao doesn't uh, get his fireball to work. So, whew. all right, well, let's take a look around and see what we can find. Uh, I want to go, do we want to go here first? No. I think it's up here that I want to go first. Oh man, new enemy here, the Veil Dancer. Now these things are dangerous. So we want to take these things out as quickly as we can. Stray Cat Rage is, would be excellent to use at this point in the game. There we go, got him. Yeah, those things can cast uh, level two magic attacks, Fyra, Blizzara, uh, uh, very good. Uh, but they can cast Fyra, Blizzara, Thundara, all that good stuff. Why is he telling me about a clock? That's weird. All right, here's Veil vale Dancer again. Again, we're gonna try and take him out as quickly as we can. If you have Gal, use the Stray Cat Rage. Ah, see, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> wow, that thing kicked my ass. Holy crap. Uh, okay, well, fortunately I have potions, so let's put those to use. Uh, whew. Yeah, so that's, we're going to be definitely putting all of our potions to use. Uh, whew, that's just crazy. Okay. And another new enemy here, the Harvester. Now, when I watch out for the Harvester, they can actually steal from you. Yeah, but we've got uh, Edgar with his tools is able to take them out real quick. Yeah, this team that I've got assembled is, is able to pretty much destroy anybody in their path. Okay, we want to now go to the... Oh, uh, let's see. We want to go to the right. If we go to the left, there's nothing there. Okay, very good. Uh, actually, sorry, what I want to show you is, if you go here to the left, the door is rusted shut. Remember that for, for much, 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 much later um, in the game. Okay, very good. And we got an ether. All right, just another Veil Dancer, no big deal there. The enemies that you fight inside the towers, or inside the buildings, are different than the ones, different than the ones that you face outside of it. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I believe now we want to go back this way. Sorry, just... Safe state there. 
Okay. Now we want to go... Okay. So let's keep taking a look around and see what else we can find around here. Hey, there's actually a guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, definitely don't want to jump between the buildings, or that's no good. Ah! Now, the clock's hands have stopped. Set the hour hand. Now, this is actually a little puzzle. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the solution. It's 6, 10, and I'll sh uh, 6, 10, 50. And I'll show you where to find the answers to all those clues here in just a minute. But it's much easier to do it this way. Okay. Uh, also, what you want to try and do is you want to try and steal from the harvesters. Because you can actually start stealing some pretty good stuff from them. Like, you got a relic there, the silver spectacles. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously, you want to end the battle as quickly as possible. That should always be your number one priority. There you go. Whew, good job saving. And if I can master that rising phoenix, that's going to go really, really, really well. Okay, if you go up here and take this chest, we get the chainsaw, which is actually a tool for, uh, for Edgar there. And apparently we can go outside for some stupid reason. Okay. That might kill Saban. That did Wow. Okay, that might kill him there. Okay. Let's put this new... Uh, well... Ooh, I stole a thief's knife. That's cool. Okay. Let's put this chainsaw to use. There you go. Yeah. So basically, it's an upgraded version of the drill. But uh, I think it's 25% of the time, a 1 in 4 chance, it will actually try to get an instant death attack. So, just keep that in mind. And I gained, lender, uh, I gained a level for Edgar. Alright, and we gained a level for Edgar, but unfortunately Gal got his ass kicked. Because those Veil Dancers hit really hard. Okay. But, you know, this is really okay that, I, that I'm using potions here because, I mean, we're, we're going to have so many potions by the end of the game. It's not going to even be a big deal. Uh, I don't think anything her. Nope, she's dead, too. We got another new enemy here, the Hill Gigas. Okay. Now, to deal with Hill Gigas, what I would recommend doing is we want to go with the... The Mew Rage. Just so we can get an instant, instant death attack going. Okay. Yeah, so we didn't do it there. They want to be careful there. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay, Meteor Strike. I got it. Um, <laughs> I like doing the Meteor Strike be just because... Uh, that's such a big dude. Ugh. So you want to watch out for the Hill Guy, I guess, because he can counteract with... Magnitude 8, which, as you can see, does a lot of damage. There's a lot of enemies in Zozo that can do a ton of damage to you. And it's just it's just bad news. So you just want to keep that in mind. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go up this way. All right. All right. So let's keep going here. Oh, nuts. <laughs> no, not at all. One thing you must always know about the Zozo people is that they never tell the truth. Okay, now we have these guys here. And all of a sudden you have these guys that are, uh, you can trust everything they say. So as we know, never trust anything they say. Now if you talk to some of these different guys, and Saban got his ass kicked by a Veil Dancer again. Ugh. This is actually, for this point in the game, I think this is one of the hardest areas in the game. Just based on your, what your levels are, by a certain point. So, just my two cents. Okay, and I, and I really have no idea why these guys are... Are, uh... See, it's 2 o'clock. So basically, you go through... It's already 12. So you can tell these guys are starting to lie. So basically, if you start talking to all these guys, um, they start to give you different clues about the clock. So basically, you can just go through... And start to get ideas of what the time is. And that's how, you, that's how you're supposed to figure out what the puzzle is. But, like I said, I was just telling you what it is. Now. Okay. Now if you go up here, you can actually, if you want to get back to the, the base level of Zozo there, you can ride down on the crane. But we don't want to do that. Okay. So let's go in here. 
Uh, wait a sec. No, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to keep on going up first. Okay, go through here. So we go over here, we pick up the Brigand's Glove, which is an excellent relic at this point in the game. Because... It changes the Steel Command to Mug, so now I can do damage while stealing. And that's always very, very, very helpful. If you try to go over here... We get into a random battle. That's great. Okay, so I'll give you, I'll show you off this the mug command, which uh, I mean it, it does like most Final Fantasy games. Yes, he steals, and there you go. Which that's really helpful compi compared with the uh, or ugh. still haven't quite mastered the Phoenix, the Rising Phoenix Rage yet on my laptop. I was usually pretty good at doing it with the Super Nintendo controller, but you know, recording with an emulator and a laptop. Still don't have it quite got it perfect yet, but I will. Don't worry. If you're not BCS Universe, I got it. If you go this way, it's trapped. Whatever shall we do? Well, there's, a, there's an entrance right here. Remember how the guy said don't jump between buildings? Well, if you go over here, haha, -ha, we can jump between buildings. Because why wouldn't we want to do that? Because video game logic always states that you must always do the opposite of whatever a video game tells you to do. And that's just standard operating procedure. You go up here, you can talk to this guy. Oh. And you get another clue about the clock. Good lord. Gosh, those guys just hit so hard. Uh, I'm getting pretty low here on potions. Um, fortunately, we're, we're almost done with this area. So that's, that's good. Okay, up here I think we can find some stuff. Yep, an ether. And a high potion, both are which very much need. Well, mostly the high potions need. Okay, so see what happened there? The harvester just stole a bunch of gill from me. But if you kill him, well, Lock doesn't always gain a level, but you get your money back. So just keep that in mind. Those people in Zozo, man, you can never trust them. Seconds are divisible by 20, which is also a lie. So let's go over here. We jump across buildings some more, and that's how we get past this area. There you go. Cool. So yeah, you just keep getting more and more and more tips and tricks about how to solve that puzzle there. And get a level for Gal. That's very nice. All right. Now we're definitely getting near the end now. Once you get to that, that area there with a bunch of towers, I meant stairs, of course, when you get a bunch of those stairs, uh, you know you're getting close to the end. So that's really good. Now if we go in here, we get the Burning Fist, which is actually a weapon for saving. So let's give that to him. Yeah, major increase in attack power, and it could cast Fire 1, or regular fire, before, uh, or when doing a physical attack. So that can be kind of helpful. All right, very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a second here before talking to this guy, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I just gave some potions to Locke and Gao. They were kind of hurting on HP, just so that they would be in a reasonable, posi reasonable position for what we're about to do next. Uh, as long as you have above 300 HP for all of your characters, you should be fine for this next part. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. <laughs> fine day. Uh, yeah, if you could just let me through, that'd be great. We're just looking for our friend. We heard she was here. Oh, good, thanks. If you could just buy, just step out of the way, we'll get past you. That would be great. Oh, not very strong. Oh, great. That'd be awesome. Hey. What? I thought you were just going to let us through. And this is the Dada Lama. All right. Now, to deal with this guy. Oof. Okay. Here's what we're going to do to deal with this guy. What we want to do is basically when we get to Gao's turn, we're going to cast a uh, stop on this guy. So let's get the Alacran Rage going. And we'll see if we can... Uh, Nope, that's not what I want you to do. Gal, if you could stop him, please, that would be great. And we get a jewel ring. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, the, uh, the Dada Lama can't heal himself. And apparently, he can heal himself quite well. Whoa, he's just going nuts with those potions. And he can cast Protect on himself. So, you want to try and get Stop on him before any of that happens. Uh, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. It's all good. If you have Celeste in your party, uh, she, uh, he, she can turn him into an Imp. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, I know it doesn't have any enemies. But, or it doesn't have any items. Also, the, another thing about the drill, as you can see, is it pierces enemies' defense. So it ignores 
the any protect or anything like that. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, you can imp him with Celeste or just use, uh, you know, if you have Cyan in your party, just use some of his sword text and you should be fine. Yeah, guy's not really that hard, so it's all good. And we get a twist headband, which is a nice piece of armor. That's very cool. Okay, so let's get into one final random battle, and I don't feel like editing this out, so I'm just going to show it to you as we go. Alright, so let's go to the Lesser Lopros. Oh yeah, there's the steel, there's the guy stealing in full effect there, as you can see. Okay, let's try and get this rage to work. Alright, that should do it. Very good. Awesome, no problems there. And another level for saving, very nice. And we get all of our money back. Fantastic. If we go up here, hey, it's Terra! Great! But what's the deal with Terra? Why does she have red eyes? Why did she end up here in Zozo? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.